with uh, severe allergies that were almost to other people's perception. They thought he had some contagious disease. Mm -hmm. And so he was sort of eliminated from life sports and, and activities. And Jay took one look at my son and he, he made a diagnosis that was really correct for him. And within, he told me, he said, in 20 days, this will all be gone. And the, the, the scabbing around the mouth and the dark, uh, looked like black eyes, everything went away. And he told Will that he was experiencing something that just made his body an emotion that was making his body overproduce. And it would just take a little bit of time and it would be back, his body would be back to normal ground. And once that happened, all the things went away. And my child just blossomed. And the medical world around me was, was, was challenging because they felt that he should be on steroids and many things that would really change his health as an older um, child. And uh, I didn't have to go that route. And so I have a very strong connection here. Yeah. When I asked Jay about my own health, and this is back in 2001, I was looking for 23 days, like, will take you about three years. <laughs> and, and I'm a very different person, and I can't even, I, I have no attachments to who I was before. It's not even in my storyline, but I'm very happy in my life and my health. That's, that's really it's a beautiful story. So it's, 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 I, you know, I, I noticed, to go back to your fashion, um, yeah, I, I was fortunate when, when Deborah came in today, um, I, I got to see some of her, her beautiful cashmere pieces. And, and um, Debbie Atacama was telling me that, that you actually hand dye your cashmere and, and before you do the designs and things. Yes, yeah, so, uh, the, uh, the yarn is before it's woven, it's dyed, and then woven. And, and when I'm working in cashmere, uh, knits. Traditionally, when we go to stores and buy a J. Crew sweater or, or an item, it's called full fashion. They, they're able to do it um, against the grain in every which way, and it's 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 not cut and sewn. It's it's, it's done in a different um, fashion, and they don't wear well. And so, I I have um, gone back to. To the, to the purists of, of cutting the fabric, getting the fabric, choosing my colors, and the colors were cutting beautiful. it, and, and it's um, it's very similar to going to the store and figuring out what you want to buy for dinner. The things motivate you, you know, what you see it in the grocery store. You know, oh, I'm going to go this way, and I have that salad, or I'm going to have these vegetables. And you're you're sort of motivated at that moment, and that's how I am with color. I, I can't tell you from year to year what my colors will be. But, um, These were beautiful. I think at our break we'll get we'll get a Viva oh. to try them on for us. Yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just um, thank you. But that's it, it's it's all part of my fun. And it's my life. My life is fun. Well, you're such a sunny person. It, it, it really comes through. It translates. Now, Jay. Well, why don't we skip us? Okay. And have our guests introduce themselves. Okay. How was that? I thought I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I came this close. <laughs> oh. Claude? <clears throat> uh, my name is Claude Isbell. And uh, I have, uh, I don't know what to, uh, where to start. I, um, <laughs> we, this one is a martyr and I have never met before, but we've been interacting on Facebook for a couple of years now, I guess. Yeah. And, um, You're a kindred to, spirits. Yeah. You know, and, um, but um, I am, um, I, I don't know what I, I mean, I, I started when I was a kid. 
Um, when I was uh, four, I did commercials and theater, and um, you know, I just loved it. I loved being you know, the center of attention, and I was like a little person, you know. And uh, then, you know, the, you know, the family started getting a little crazy with lots of alcoholism and everything. And I, since that point in time, until I, I myself got sober, I was up and down, and I was. Um, doing lots of things, but then I'm bad at a little bit of depression or something. I would literally, wouldn't be able to get off the uh, couch, but I'd write songs and sell them, or, you know, uh, people who um, had uh, shot, you know, some stuff, they needed an editor, they would send it to me, and I would edit it and send it back. So you know? your good fortune would always come back to your arts. Yeah, so I would uh, continue in the arts, but I had battled with a great deal of depression for a long time. Right. And uh, until uh, not that long ago, when actually it started, uh, you know, I was taking care of my terminally ill sister. Um, you know, something it seemed to change, and it felt like I had come out of a coma after 25 years. Or so, well, frustrating. But um, you know, now I'm uh, trying not to take too much time to grieve. Um, you know, and uh, I still have this tendency to to live in the past or to use as a shield, something like someone will do something, and I'll say, yeah, but I scored 173 on an IQ test at Columbia. Stuff like that, and that has not You meant to hang on to the past. Exactly, that, you know, it's like, what's going on now? And uh, my whole life, I, you know, I used to speak several languages when I was younger, I completely 